once again back at it and uh, this is a very simple uh, practicing tool maybe if you will um, with uh, major triads and that's what this is going to focus on very simple primitive chord um, and it's the one chord of every key um, and the four and five chord in the key as well and um, there's a very simple way to get all the notes that are in that triad all over the neck um, and I'll, I'll try not to talk too much though I really could go on about this for a really long time um, I'm going to be in F so that I have minimal open string stuff going on so that's easily to kind of move these fingerings around um, they'll look the same everywhere you go so basically a triad is a three note chord and um, in this case you've got one which is F you got the third of the key, and here's the five. And again, I do want to get to it so that you can all join me in practicing this. Um, I found it very valuable to me. I'm, I'm never too good not to think about this or, or put in a little time on this. Um, anyway, one, three, five, one, three, five, one. Here's the normal F position that we're all familiar with, bar chord first things you learn once you get your open chords together and um, what may seem a little funny is that we're going to start on the third on this low E string that's A C F and that's going to be our first chord and what we're going to do is we're going to take the next subsequent chord that you can make 5 1 3 1 3 5 so that's four different little voicings and they're all F's and again it may may be a little tricky at first you know to, to specifically do just this but you can see it actually has a kind of a cool sound and that's really three different uh, F chords plus you get a different melody note on top Then the next position, F again. Same concept, just different uh, physical look. Five, one, three, one, three, five, three, five, one, five, one, three. And again, you could even arpeggiate it. That's not what we're doing today. Chords. <laughs> Chords only. <laughs> so it's going to be the same thing. Ah, sorry about that. So anyway, now, and I am rushing through this a little bit, but now we've actually covered this much neck with every note that you would find in an F major chord. That's, that's quite substantial uh, when you look at this amount of frets here. And uh, if you're actually freely able to hit those chords no matter where you are, kind of connected to the next chord or to keep playing F chords again, you have, you have all this movement going on. It's actually really, really nice. Finally, we have one last one, which is this. We're going to take the F here and, and do exactly the same thing. Now, again, this is not so intuitive because most of the time we don't think in this direction on the guitar because we're so used to playing bar chords so we tend to think of this finger as the uh, you know the bottom of the earth or whatever you can't go any deeper than that and you're only looking up but this one actually the same thing you're going to do all the notes in order one three five three five one five one three one three five so we have again another set of four little tiny voicings that will give us an F triad being three notes. So there it is. And again, I am kind of rushing through this, but now you've gotten this area covered. Once we're up here, we're back to the beginning. Exactly the same thing.
cover the whole neck. Every possible place there is to play a close position F. Close meaning the notes are right in order. So a um, couple ways to practice them are like what we just did. Just running up each position four notes. And really get comfortable with it. Be able to switch them around. And you might want to do this for a while. I know I did. Because it took me a while to memorize this and kind of get comfortable getting my fingers to do this. But once you've done these three, that's it. There are no more, you know, once you get back up here, you're just duplicating this one down here. So it's, it's really, um, in really no amount of time at all, you've actually covered every close position triad that you could ever see. I mean, that, 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 that's it, that's it's over, that's the end. Now, how fast are you? How quickly can you get to it? How good are your ears when you're changing keys or moving around? I mean, that does take a little while, but the simplicity of this exercise is what I like so much about it. Uh, finally, uh, you can take those same three voicings and instead of working vertically, you can go horizontally up and down the neck. So top three strings. That's the only looks you're going to get. And here's the middle. Next one. And finally the low strings. Which actually kind of have really this kind of wonderful muffly kind of warm sound and with you know being able to go across this way or this way means that that you can play them you can connect them in all kinds of different ways you can go up and then across up across you know you can really race around <laughs> versatility with these chords you know simple chord real simple but um, that's a good way to practice them so if you're looking for things to practice and you've run out of ideas you can always take a step back go back to some basic stuff and just see if you can get it down a little to just that much stronger it'll help all other aspects of your playing I think so give it a shot <laughs>